Hello everyone, uh, this is Kevin from PCI Geomatics. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. This is a short video on how to use the Python script example which we've placed on our GitHub page. This is a, a very interesting application where uh, we put together a hypothetical scenario where we would try to locate the optimal placement of different billboards. Um, the, uh, the billboard theoretical locations are, are, are identified here on this uh, PowerPoint slide. Uh, so we've got uh, three different possible locations and we're trying to identify maybe where the best uh, location is in terms of visibility. Um, the capability that's used uh, leverages both uh, Geomatica for image processing and it uses ArcGIS for uh, spatial analysis. And so the complete workflow is executed in Python and it uh, makes use of stereo overlapping imagery from uh, from a, a, an urban area in Canada called uh, Hamilton and um, we extract a DSM and then we use that DSM to uh, understand what the line of sight uh, could be uh, for the different billboards using ArcGIS uh, the 3D feature analyst extension. So I'm going to uh, run you through how to download this and how to make it uh, how to make it uh, run basically. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, head over to our GitHub page. Uh, GitHub, for those of you who are not familiar, is a social uh, coding uh, platform, so we can uh, collaborate on uh, different projects together. We've put together this example so that you can get started with uh, Python. So if I click on the billboard placement uh, repository, we've up uh, uh, loaded a few files here. Uh, these are Python scripts that, that uh, we've uploaded. So we have a readme file, which is uh, providing you all the information here. We have the Python as resolution.py file, which is the main script that executes the, the main, um, main processing. And then the Python as resolution IO, this is for input output. Uh, we wrote a little helper script to uh, help uh, manage the file uh, uh, path uh, locations and so on. So the, uh, <coughs> As I, as I mentioned in the introduction, the, the, essentially the application leverages Geomatica and ArcGIS for billboard placement analysis. Uh, there's a short description here. Uh, what you're going to need is uh, Python 2.7, the Geomatica Python API, so you'll need to download the latest version of Geomatica 2014. You'll need ArcPy, which uh, ships with uh, ArcGIS uh, desktop. In this case, we're using ArcGIS desktop 10.2.1. Uh, and we're also using the 3D Feature Analyst extension. The important note here, uh, one of the, uh, the key things is that uh, we have to work in a 64-bit environment. Um, so when you uh, launch the uh, Python uh, uh, interface uh, from the command line when you're executing the script, you'll need to make sure that you do that from the right path. So uh, you need to uh, navigate to the Python 2.7 path and the 64-bit version of uh, Python in uh, ArcGIS. So once you uh, download these files, you can uh, so you can you can copy these files over to your disk, or you can download the whole package here. We have a, a link uh, straight to our uh, download location. Uh, here's what you're going to have. So essentially, you'll have uh, this uh, uh, data. So we have some um, some air photo imagery here, which is overlapping with the exterior orientation information, the camera calibration. So, so this is everything that uh, Geomatica needs to uh, to run. Um, we have an ingest folder where we've we've ingested these to a PIX format. We have some vectors that we use. So this is the hypothetical uh, placement of the billboards. So this is a shapefile that we created. We also have the road vectors over this location to do the intersect analysis. Um, and then in addition to the data, we have the actual code. In order to get this running, we need to open up a, a Windows command prompt. So I'm just going to type CMD in the start menu, open up a command prompt. And uh, essentially the folder I'm working in is, uh, is this one here. So I, the first thing I'll do is I'll navigate to the uh, directory where uh, Python 64-bit version is located. So 2.7, and then I'll start typing ArcGIS. I'm just hitting tab here. Uh, to get to the right location, backslash python.exe. So that's going to launch uh, Python. I'll just get out of the interactive mode here. And uh, essentially to start the script, very simple. We just uh, run, the, uh, grab this uh, PCI as resolutions.py file, 
drop it into the command line, hit enter. What that is doing right now is it's initializing the libraries for both uh, PCI and ArcPy. So you can see here that the PCI environment has been loaded and the ArcPy environment has been loaded. So the next thing it's going to ask for is the ingest folder. So if we go to our uh, ingest folder here, this is where the data is located. So I'll just drag and drop that ingest folder here. Copy that in, ready to go. Now it's asking for the point uh, f uh, vector point layer, which has the uh, hypothetical locations of the billboards. I'll, dry, I'll drag that in, hit enter. And the last thing it's asking for is the road layer. So I'll pick the road layer here, grab the shape file, drop it in. And uh, finally, it's, uh, it's just asking where I want to put all of this. So um, I'll try to put it in a place where I'm going to remember. So I can drag that folder over here, which is the root folder where my demo is located. And I'm going to go backslash output. And essentially, the program starts to uh, run. So uh, what it's doing uh, in the first place is it's creating the epipolar uh, images from the stereo images. So it's running the, uh, the data ingest and it's going to essentially run through all of the possible pairs and uh, create the epipolars. So once we have the epipolar pairs generated, the next part of the program is going to uh, execute the uh, DSM extraction. So now uh, using the epipolar pairs, it's going to calculate the elevation values for the overlapping pixels. So here goes the DSM extraction and uh, the DSMs will be extracted for each and every uh, epipolar pair and then those DSMs, those individual DSMs will be merged into a single uh, DSM. So the DSM generation is just finishing up here. It's a uh, uh, process through the uh, six pairs, just finishing up the sixth pair right now. Once that's done, it's going to merge all of the uh, individual DSMs into a single uh, geocoded DSM. So you can see that that's what it's doing now. It's generating the uh, orthos using the DSM and mosaicing those together. And now it's running the Esri visibility analysis. So it created the file geodatabase. It uh, did the visibility analysis, so using the 3D Feature Analyst extension, the line of sight uh, tool. Uh, it's uh, converting some, some data. Uh, finally, we do an intersect analysis with the roads and uh, create a project where we can load everything up. And uh, we just have some ASCII art here. Our, uh, our uh, uh, pre-sales uh, specialist, uh, Sean, uh, uh, thought it would be cool to uh, put together a a little a version of our logo in ASCII art uh, for those of you who appreciate that kind of thing. I'm going to load up the results now to show you how that works. So essentially what we have here is uh, the underlying ortho image that has been created uh, and mosaiced uh, together. Uh, we have the, uh, the theoretical locations for the uh, billboards to be placed and you can see if I turn some of these layers off in some cases the billboards actually on top of the building and in some cases it's in front of the building uh, we have the visibility polygon which is uh, this uh, uh, this polygon here obviously you can see here that the the billboards not going to be visible behind the building because the buildings obscuring it whereas this one uh, we do have visibility all around uh, that location and this one similarly the location is in front of the building so the building obscures it um, and then finally, we have our uh, intersect analysis. So these are the road vectors, road centerline vectors uh, from the city of Hamilton. And so what we did is an intersect analysis of the visibility polygons and the road segments. Um, and uh, just to give you an idea, there's the, the shaded relief DM. So this is the, the data that was used that was automatically calculated from uh, PCI in order to uh, determine what the visibility uh, of, of those uh, possible locations would be. So all of this is possible using the uh, script and the data that's available on GitHub. I encourage you to go ahead and download it. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let us know. You can email us, uh, marketing at PCI Geomatics, or uh, you can uh, interact with us here on, on GitHub. Um, and uh, if you have any, if you have 
other ideas or other scripts that maybe you think would be useful, uh, by all means, let us know. We'd be happy to hear about it and uh, help you get on your way in terms of working with Python. Thanks for watching this episode of PCI Tech TV. If you have any additional comments or questions, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the page to our channel for uh, additional updates. Thanks very much.